Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how can you use a graph API to uh, add comments to a specific task in Planner. So to start with, let's have a look at the Planner itself. You know, when I open one Planner, Right, I see options to do. So there are different buckets. There are different tasks. Each task has a task description, priority, uh, some other things, and also comments. The question is, um, when we actually export the task in Excel, right? Then comments is not available here. Right? We we see. Uh, priority progress bucket but comments are not visible anywhere so uh, where are these comments get stored basically the planner belongs to a specific uh, office 365 group and each office 365 group has a shared mailbox uh, and each um, conversation thread or this comments area in tasks is stored in this uh, group mailbox. So what does it mean for us and how can we update it? Basically, uh, one way to get to this object and update it is by using a Microsoft Graph. Um, I'll record another video with a graph introduction, but in this one, I'll be very specific just to show you one command that you can run to post comments um, to a specific task. Basically, this is a post command that I'm using here, and um, I have a specific query, right? This query has some information in it, and this information, you know, as you see here, it ends with reply. Then there is a specific thread ID, right? Thread ID. And then before that, there is a group ID and some, some other Graph API groups. And then there is a body for this response. Right, and uh, when I run the query, let, let us do this task. I run the query, I get the status OK. Then when I go back to my planner and check the task, this is my test task that I'm updating, I see here testing post from Graph API. So actually, uh, that the post is done here. Uh, let us have a quick look on how to get information necessary to build this query. All we need is just three things. The, the type of query is post, then there is the actual query, and then there is a body. You can modify the body for yourself and um, select specific content. Uh, this area, um, the main two things that we have to, to have is the um, group ID and then the thread ID. So how do we get the group ID and the, and the thread ID? To get the group ID, the easiest way to do it, probably the fastest, if, you, if I look on the planner, right? Right in the URL, there is this group ID. It's right here. You can copy it from here. Um, and also to get the thread ID that you want to update. One way to do it is to go to sample queries, right? And uh, then select a planner plan. If, if this query is not available, you just click show, show more samples and then uh, select, make sure that groups and planner are selected. So if I get this planner plan, 
Um, well, actually, we do not need to get the planner. Planner just gives us the planner. But what we need to get is the group um, thread conversations. So oh, to do this, I go to groups conversations. I click on group conversations, and then I copy this ID. The ID is copied, and then I paste it in this area and run query. I run query, you see here, uh, it returns this ID, and this is the actual conversation ID. This is for task two, then there is the task zero, this is the conversation ID. So this is what we will need in the second part of the query um, using Graph Explorer to post. When you get this information, then you're good to go. You, you just build this query like this, and then you put whatever commands are needed, uh, run the query, it runs. Of course, you can use it in web requests using uh, Power Automate or some other uh, options. So basically, when the web request is sent, um, the Graph Explorer runs and it, um, the planner is updated. I hope it was not too confusing and um, I hope it helps you to get a little deeper with understanding how Planner and other services work. Uh, have a wonderful day and stay healthy. Bye-bye.